Good morning, everyone. I am so stoked because we have two surprises today. And the first one being, B is back. He's already working. He literally just got up this morning and is working up front. B, where are you at? I'm in my office. Hey, everybody, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first surprise. And we need to eat though to, before we share with you the second one. I just made some oatmeal with some chia seeds, some flax seed. Um, I put some superfood powder in here. And then I put some apples and some currants. It's bomb. So we're going to eat first and then we're going to share with you our second piece of news, which is... I'm just so excited. Anyways, B, get back here. It was good. I was so hungry this morning. It was really good. Mm. Oh, oh. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. So many of you know I don't really eat grains, but once in a while, if I'm really hungry and we're, we have a lot to do. Which is today? Then I'll do this. You try to grow it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, delicious breakfast is done. So that's our first thing we had to do today. But now it's time to share with you mm -hmm. what we're doing. So we've been dropping hints in the past few videos. And if you follow us on Instagram, we've definitely talked about this. But since we really thought of doing this whole van life thing, we started watching YouTube like a lot of you are. And we watch people travel all over the place. and you know, all to all these different countries. And we just kept thinking, that's so cool to be able to take your home with you wherever you go. It just seemed like this bananas idea. You don't have to get hotels, Airbnbs, anything like that. You could wake up next to a beach in the mountains, travel to different countries. It just seemed like such a cool thing to do. Yeah. So with that said, we're excited to announce that drum roll. We are Going to Mexico! Woo! <laughs> we have been wanting to go to Mexico for so long. So long. Yeah, I've been there before. Um, you've been there before. We've been there a bunch of times, but never in our van. So yeah. we are pumped about this. And we're going to take you on the journey of how to prepare for Van Life Mexico, the paperwork that you need to do. We're going to give all the specifics because we found that was actually the hardest thing to find on YouTube was more of that specific information. But yeah. that, how to prepare for Van Life Mexico, that's going to be a different video. But today does begin our kind of like low level preparation. So we're going to do a couple things today and kind of show you what we're doing to prepare just like those first couple things. Yeah. First things on our list we need to do today is I accidentally uh, melted some plastic <laughs> on our butane stove. And so our butane stove is like, it, it's it's got to go. So that yeah. we need a new butane stove, uh, oil change. Yeah. And we have to switch out our winter clothes and our summer clothes, which yeah. I'm psyched about. Winter clothes take up like half a cabinet, just yeah. like one sweater. I already got my stuff all figured out. You do? Yeah, I mean, I'm always traveling for work. I'm constantly going cold, hot, cold, hot. So I just got my my uh, selections narrowed down to a little bit here, a little bit there. So I'm, I'm good to go. Ryan and I have all our compression bags up here. You've probably seen them in a different video, but I pretty much took a bunch of stuff out that I don't think I'll need, like sweaters and bulky stuff. Not a great catch by me. What's that? They're like, we're, we're going to the biosphere. I'm like, okay, where is it? I'm like, that way. They're like, no, it's not. They go, it's 100% that way. <laughs> They're like, okay. Dude, that was really weird. We're going to the biosphere. Okay. This is recording, just so you know. <laughs> I was so excited because I was like, oh, I have so much like more room in my cabinet space now. Now I have to put all these clothes somewhere. I have too many clothes. I, I do. No to deal with all this. So I have too much stuff. So I'm going to ship some stuff back to our storage unit. Well, actually, I'm shipping it back to my mom. And my mom takes care of our storage unit for us. So we're gonna be back up there in a few months. I love having a storage unit. I th like, I'm really happy that we do cause we've sent, well, my hair is crazy. We've sent um, a bunch of stuff back that we're like, why do we even bring this with us? So 
Here's to more stuff being shipped back right now. Let's go try to find this butane stove, eh? Yeah, I hope we can find it in here. We'll see. All right, look at this. We are in luck. I found Woo! the stove top. Oh, it's a different brand, but that'll still work. I mean, it looks exactly the same. It's yeah, I like this little carrying case, though. That. The other one came with one, too. It did? Yeah. You never told me that. Threw it out. We didn't need it. <laughs> The one that we had was butane and propane. I feel good about it. We have the adapter to do propane. Yeah, all right, I think we're good. Okay, we did it. Got that stove. Uh, next up. Uh, Oil change? I'm thinking tea. Tea, oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't had tea yet this morning. To the tea, and I'm gonna get coffee. Can I do a massage chai tea latte? Uh, we're getting an oil change. I'm so tired. I just got <laughs> off tour and now we're doing all these chores. I'm just like, uh, uh, but you know, we gotta do it. Woo, here we go. It is nice out today. Super nice. Yeah. I feel like, cause you, I feel like you need some rest. Definitely. So I think we're just gonna, we've done enough errands for the day. We should just pop up and like snuggle into bed. And then we're gonna share, I think a little bit more about why we're going to Mexico as well. Just a couple, kind of like an overview of our travels. Cause we're doing something a little bit different. How do you feel about that? That sounds perfect. <laughs> First, ooh, that one's nice looking. I like it, it's a little bit more sleek. Yeah. Oh, does that not come off? Uh-oh. No. So it won't fit in here. Well, we're just gonna have to put it somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, no. That was the beauty of the other one, is that it, it, it flipped around. Oh, bummer. Is it really stuck in here like that? All right, well, we got to our camp spot. I'm ready to just chill, good kickback, watch some Netflix. And uh, yeah, just relax. Crystal's sitting here doing some research. Got to figure out all the different things. Like there's so much to learn about how to get into Mexico. Thankfully I've done like most of it. YB has been gone. I've been working on the paperwork aspects and, but there's just like a lot of little things that if you start asking questions, they're like uh, in different groups that I'm in, like on Facebook, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And do this and do this. So I just want to make sure that we're like fully prepared. So when we go over the border, it's, really easy, which is actually going to be our next video. We're yeah. going to be talking about how to prepare for van life Mexico as best we can. So we're going to be talking about that in our next video. And Chris is doing a great job. <laughs> I think so. I mean, it, we'll know if we cross the border and all is well, but we already have like a really cool campground. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Which reminds me, we haven't told them exactly where we're going to Mexico. Oh yeah, um, we're going to Lo de Marcos. Lo de Marcos. That's where we're going to be camping out for a bit. But we'll probably go to Puerto Vallarta too, and Punta Minta. Is that? Punta Minta. That's where our our buddy Efra lives. Yeah, what's up, Efra? We're what's coming up, for you, buddy. And maybe Sayulita. I heard that was a pretty cool place. We're also going to try to find. Uh, we want to stay out of the touristy place, except for a quick short jaunt in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. Uh, we want to just go to like little tiny villages, find some places that like not a lot of people are. We're not going to Baja. We don't think this round. We're going to stay on the mainland and try to like find some little spots. Yeah, we're sticking on the mainland for now. We decided to do that. We'll see you uh, next week. We'll see you next week, everybody. Adios.